Hello besties, happy Tuesday. We are getting ready to get this face together per usual. We looking real just ashy. <laughs> and we need to be hydrated cause it's a hot ass day today. Me talking about it's a hot ass day but I got on a sweatshirt. But anyways, happy Tuesday y'all. As I said, welcome back to a new vlog. How y'all doing? It's been a while took me so long to get my life together to get that last vlog up for y'all and i'm so sorry for that i'm like did i wash my face in the shower <laughs> definitely did right now i am toning my face my skin has been doing so good y'all a couple weeks ago i actually went to a professional to get a facial done and it was so bomb i'm like i gotta start getting these done monthly but i found a girl that was local so she did it out of her house and the setup was actually really nice, really cute, calm, relaxing. And she basically just told me like my skin is great, like beautiful. And I basically was like, girl, thank you. Cause I've been like using so many like different new products trying to figure out what my face really needs. And I told her about how my face just gets so like ashy. <laughs> like right when I get out the shower, I'm like, this usually doesn't happen until it's like fall, winter. Cause my skin is so dry. But the way it just immediately turns white, like that's how ashy it gets. I told her I have been using my Korean skincare products. And I know somebody just asked me about it in the comments, which I know I need to reply to. But honestly, it's just a whole bunch of random things I found at TJ Maxx that seemed like they would be a good fit for my skin. And I've just been using those. And then recently... The brand Burst reached out to me and sent me some skincare and y'all know I've actually been using them for a while and I love their products. I use their um, sunscreen on my face daily and then that is the toner. I just use the Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution toner. Then this is the sunscreen that I use of theirs. And then this instant resurfacing mask. I haven't used this in a while, but this is also really good too. And then their out of sight dark spot gel. Now this is what I've been using to kind of try to clear up the dark marks I do have from previous pimples like over here and things like that. So been trying to just consistently use things so i've been going back and forth between korean skincare products and then burst so anyways y'all it's so much i feel like i need to update y'all on from the last vlog so we are now into our second full week of kindergarten for Addie. she's at school right now it's 9 51 and she actually gets out early today at 12 35 i believe this is their first like early release day so they're actually gonna have like random days during the year where they do like a.m at school and then p.m oh no that's gonna leave a spot <laughs> i know what i'm saying they're gonna do a.m at school and then p.m at home for e-learning so today is like the first day they're gonna be doing that don't really know the reasoning behind days that they do that but i think the kids are gonna get sent home with a chromebook and like be able to just do whatever work at home that they were going to do in school. So that's going to be the first day today. So I'm going to go, you know, going to go get her in a couple hours. Xavier is asleep. Y'all, he decided to wake up with us this morning at 645, which was okay when it happened. Only because he woke up in a good mood. So that was good. But then y'all, once we finally got back home because I had went out, got me an energy drink because it was much needed and then came home to make him breakfast thinking that he was ready to eat and he just kept crying he was just crying he didn't want to drink his milk he didn't want to drink his juice he didn't want to eat the food that i just made and i was just frustrated so i just said forget it put him down to sleep he knocked right out so he's been asleep for maybe 45 ish minutes now almost an hour i don't really know so I just took this opportunity and like let me get in the shower, get myself together for the day because later on today Addie has jazz and um I gotta run to the store once I get her. I need to go to Target because I need egg whites bad. I actually am mad I don't have them now because I want some for breakfast. Still haven't eaten breakfast. Literally just have my energy drink and that's it. So I'm trying to do that. And other exciting news, y'all, we finally got us a new couch. 
I'm so excited because y'all know, if y'all the OGs and came from our family channel, you know that we had this couch basically since Addie was born. Since we moved into our first apartment together, we had this couch and I'm like, it's been through hell and back with us. <laughs> we've had it now in this house for the three years that we've been here and we like, it's time. It's time to get a couch. This couch is so just filthy and we just need to replace it. So we actually just got a brand new five piece sectional and right now it is in our garage because we still have to get the old couch out. So it's in our garage right now. Jordan got it and picked it up yesterday. So now we just really just gotta find time to get the damn other couch out of here. And I'm so happy, but I'm nervous because the couch is white. It's probably like the color of this sweatshirt, to be honest. Like white, kind of off-white, grayish. I can't even remember, but it's so pretty. And of course, we will not be doing the things that we were doing on this couch as far as snacking, eating, just lounging around, laying all, you know, doing whatever the hell. Letting Xavier climb out on it after he had a snack. It was too much going on. I got that and I'm excited because it's gonna just brighten up the living room, just make it look so cute. I wanna get some new covers for the pillows I have. Just like we're entering like an era of updating certain things in our house, which also brings me to the next thing, this bathroom. This bathroom is about to get a major upgrade. We have a mirror coming in that I actually have a collaboration with coming soon. A brand new mirror. I'm about to update the shower curtain, rugs, like toothbrush thing, like everything. I'm about to update that because I'm like, it's been way too long for that as well. Because I'm just thinking like, we've been here in this house for three and a half years. Oh, and we haven't really updated a lot of things. Like things started off slow for us because y'all know we moved at the beginning of COVID. So it was a lot of things going on, a lot of like, stores closed and delays on items y'all remember how long it took for us to get our couches downstairs in our basement our bed and we actually have a whole nother bed as well i don't think i told y'all about that either but our bed actually had broke on jordan's side like a month ago or something and actually it, i don't think it's been a month i'm being dramatic it's probably been like two weeks three weeks <laughs> Something like that, but our bed broke. It's probably been a month. Girl, I don't know. But we got a new bed. So that's another update in our house. And yeah, just things have just slowly been happening now. But like I said, it was never no rush. Your house is your house and you update as you go. So that's kind of what we've been doing. It's no rush to like get things because we didn't like need things, but like as you look and have things for a while you like yeah i'm ready for something new right now i'm just obviously finishing up my skincare and then i have to go get will make me something to eat because i'm getting hungry i can't believe it's about to be september y'all know addy and daddy's birthday is coming up our anniversary is coming up jordan is about to be 30 and then i'm about to be 30 a couple weeks after him y'all that's blue like it's crazy y'all know i already mentioned that i'm excited to go into my 30s as much as i joke about not wanting to be 30. i just know this is a brand new era i'm about to enter like a very happy successful decade of my life just look at the glow i freaking love skincare like i feel like that's all i care about now <laughs> Go, 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 go. Hi, baby. Somebody woke up in a better mood, kinda. He's currently playing and then watching Miss Rachel, but he woke up kinda still fussy. I fed him the boob and then he is eating his breakfast finally from earlier. So, yeah. Oh, love that. So, update it is now 11 20. Addy gets out of school in an hour, so I'm letting him finish up his food. 
I'm gonna change him into some shorts because it is now hot outside. I really want to keep this sweatshirt on. Like I've been telling Jordan lately, I've been loving just wearing like sweatshirts and then my biker shorts. Like I just want to be comfy and I don't really like care about the weather. <laughs> so we're gonna do that and then after I get Addy, I'm going straight to Target because I'm gonna get some stuff for dinner. I need egg whites as well and then I need some soap. And then that's gonna be it until we go to dance at 4.30. I am still working on trying to get these damn nails off. One popped off earlier, so now I have three missing, but I need to get the rest of these off. They look so crazy, but doing that, I finally was able to make me some breakfast. Eight, responded to a couple emails. Jordan is texting me. <gasps> so I wanna do that. I'm trying to low-key think. Because we have dance at 4.30, which means Addie doesn't get out until 5.15, which means we probably won't get home around 5.30. I'm trying to figure out if I should make like wait and make dinner when we get back home. Or should I try to make dinner and have it ready? Because what I'm making is like a one pot type of meal. So I won't have to, you know, do too much. And I can literally just leave it in the pot on the stove covered until we get back home low key because picking her up at 12 30 which means we'll get to target around like one ish go in there get what we need leave out it'll probably be almost two get home get everything settled like i said we don't have to leave until four that'll give me like a two hour window to kind of cook dinner you know get it together and then that, that might be the move. So then when we come home at 5.30, we literally just have to eat, take showers, and then the kids can go to bed. That'll make sense. So I'm going to just see if that timing is right. <laughs> if I get home around 2, like I think I am, then I will cook dinner early. But we'll see. Say hi. Look. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> can you show? Yeah. Yeah. Shoes, y'all. Can y'all believe we got him these Nikes in the beginning of the year in a size 6? He had like a little thumb space room. I'm like, okay, we good. This boy right at the tip of these shoes now. He needs a 7. Yeah. Anybody else 16 months old in a 7? Like, what the hell is going on? My kids the only ones I know that go two shoe sizes a year. And it's crazy. You want to show them you know how to count? <gasps> 1, 2, two three, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Good job. He been learning. So we about to go get Addy, right? We'll get Addy. About to go get Addy and then run to the store for the stuff for dinner. And then we'll be back. Say bye bye. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all. It is 5.56. We just now made it home. Came from dance. We did pick up Addy from school. We ran to the grocery store. I came home, made me and Addy something to eat. Put Xavier down to sleep. Heated up his food. Ran to dance. It started raining like freaking crazy. And now we finally home and settled. So it is time to finally make dinner. Addy is in the shower. And she actually has some homework that she has to do right when she gets out. But usually right when we get home is shower time. And they be literally running around with my pillows from the couch. And that's a new thing. I forgot to tell y'all earlier. Because we have a new couch, what I'm nervous about is this boy just messing it up. Like I already said that obviously the rules for the new couch are no eating on the new couch, drinking, stuff like that. So we have to be cautious with giving him snacks because he will just take a snack and eat on the couch. So I'm just like... But now he like got my <laughs> freaking pillows and he's running around with them, dragging them on the floor. And I told Jordan I want to keep these pillows, but I want to buy new covers for them because I think I just want to go with the new type of vibe for our living room. But I'm like, we'll get there when we get there. So I'm about to make this TikTok recipe I found. I just pulled it up from my phone to the computer so I could actually look on the bigger screen to make it but it's uh what is it like a chicken bourbon chicken fried rice 
It looks so good. I literally bought every single thing. Like, look at these ingredients. The ginger. I even got this Korean chili flakes. Got some more honey, apple cider vinegar, sesame oil, this brown sugar bourbon, which sounds so good. Got some more soy sauce, and then, I don't even know, how do you pronounce this? Is it hoisin sauce? Mm, I hope I didn't mess it up. But these are all the ingredients that are used for the chicken, I believe. So I'm about to get started on that, and y'all could cook with me. What the fat man doing? Ooh, say cheese. Okay, thank you, handsome boy. Come here, 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 come here. so cute literally just came on here just to say a couple things because it's literally 7 p.m. and it's Thursday and I realized I haven't picked up the camera today which I usually don't do on Thursdays because it's Jordan's off day it's a dance day busy day yeah but Jordan is actually outside cutting the grass and <laughs> but he had to like get it done today so he was like I might as well get out do that now we had dance today, Addie has school today, I got my hair done today, as y'all can see, because it was looking a mess. It's It's been a long, exhausting, emotional day for me. Started off this morning, I was supposed to go and get a sew-in. I think I had told y'all, I can't remember, but I was supposed to get my sew-in today with my little side part. This is clearly not a sew-in. And I'm so dumb, y'all. So I was trying to dry my bundles quickly today. Because there was just a lot of go a lot of things going on this morning and I was supposed to go at nine and literally threw my bundles in the dryer. Don't come for me. The heat wasn't on though. It wasn't like heated. It was just air dry for literally like 15 minutes and my bundles tangled and I could not get them untangled and I cried and cried and cried. So I honestly I couldn't even tell y'all what was going through my head. Like because I think I realized last minute that i would have had time to actually dry it with the blow dryer i don't know why i was trying to think of that quick way but yeah so my bundles are ruined i'm going to have to buy more and i just looked at this as like you know what i'll just be able to just get my hair done closer to my birthday tomorrow is september 1st so y'all know jordan and addy's birthday is coming up our anniversary been married for four years almost and then my birthday is in september i mean october <laughs> october 2nd libra so that's just it like i'm dumb and i just know not to do it again okay but i just know i'm just like looking at this as okay now i can get some fresh bundles for my birthday and be cute i could get a different style because i feel like i want to do curly hair anyway so i'm just like this is just the way of like Get some new bundles for your birthday. 
I'm gonna just look at it that way, okay? I'm not even going. <laughs> yeah. Davey dancing to his favorite song. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy some more hair, get another sew in closer to my birthday, and call it a day, okay? Because, girl, if this was my birthday hair, whole attitude, whole attitude. Good morning. Good morning to them. Good morning to the good morning to the new couch. This took a while to put together, believe it or not. These actually came like together, like pillows and stuff like that. But y'all, it was so hard to attach all five of these. Like it's a corner one, these two, and then those two, and they got like hooks underneath that had to like perfectly get latched in there terrible but this is it looking real crazy and wrinkly because crazy number one and number two already been on the couch also these pillows y'all know we had these since we first moved in they actually all come off and i actually plan on getting new ones i just don't know what colors i want to do yet but this is it it's so comfy it's actually so big and look. this one on one already Girl, what is so bomb? Oh wait, I turned the camera down a little bit. So cute. And it just brightens up the living room. And look, it's big, it goes all the way over there. So, it's way wider than our original couch. Like our original couch, I wanna say, maybe like a couple inches less than this. So that's why it looks like so huge, like it is, it's so comfy. When Jordan sits in that middle seat over there, his feet don't even touch the ground, like that's how big it is. Oh. Miss Rachel on this morning. Hi. So, as y'all can see, I'm in the car looking real bald. I got my little bun on top of my head. Zavi back there. Blurry. We are clearly out the house. Why did I completely forget that it was an early release day for the kids today? It's like our schools always have like these random early release days. And today is one of them. And what made me think about it is like the date because I wrote every early release date down on my little whiteboard at home and I'm like 9 and 12 <gasps> that's today gotta go get my baby so luckily I didn't realize it too much at the last minute because so I was able to obviously put him down for a nap take a shower get ready and go pick up my baby so we're on the way to get her now and I actually just remember as well that I need to go to Sam's Club because they have this car seat on sale for Zavi and it's definitely time for him to get out of this infant car seat. He's way too big, but we were trying to like see when a good deal was gonna pop up with one of these car seats because girl, car seats cost too much damn money. So I found one at Sam's Club that's on sale today until like next weekend, I wanna say. So I'm like, I gotta get up there, so. I'm gonna end up going to my mom's job and getting her Sam's Club car because I forgot to get it from Jordan before he left for work this morning. So luckily my mom has one too, so I'm gonna go get it from her and then go to Sam's Club and get my baby a car seat and take this one out immediately before we gotta leave back out for dance later. So we're just gonna go do that. I need to stop by Target to be honest because they have these cute glass pumpkins that I wanna put in I think I wanna put some like up on the little shelf we got at home and maybe like on the dining room table, maybe the kitchen, I don't know, but they're only a dollar. And I'm like, I gotta go get at least a couple of them because next vlog, when I decorate for fall, I want it all to like make sense, you know? So, about to do that and we'll see y'all at Sam's Club. Found the car seat. I hope this ain't heavy. Oh wait, it's light. Look at these kids. <laughs> Big Addy in the front, but it fits. I didn't think it would fit. It matches my car, so we love that. Y'all, so why was we just fighting for our lives? Addy especially, she up here crying because a bee got in my car, literally as I'm trying to put this big ass car seat in here. I forgot that I got so much stuff in my trunk well, not even so much stuff. We had chairs from a par the parade that we went to that we didn't even use. And then, what else? Oh, Zavi's 
stroller. They didn't add a stroller. So this did not fit in there. Literally had to fight for my life to get it in this front seat as the bees were trying to attack us. Now look, where my headband go? I think my headband flew off. <laughs> what? Did my headband fly off? I feel like it flew off. So I think my headband flew off. So no more headband. I love that for me. Oh my god, is this lady gone? Oh, she leaving. No, no. I can't even see. Like I'm trying to get gas here at Sam's Club. This damn car seat in my way. Anyways, I'm finally about to head home, get the kids fed, and get this car seat, um, you know, taken out to get this new one put in. But I am getting gas now at Sam's my life is still i'm still alive even though we just got attacked <laughs> and we're all good i'm so sweaty i don't even care about the headband no more mm, the sandwich so good you didn't ate all your grapes you got some apple juice banana and turkey cheese sandwich and i got uh, what's you want to say apple juice addy basically eating her lunch that she had at school because they didn't eat lunch because it was a half day Right? I just ate snacks. She ate snacks, so she's finishing all that. And then we got homework. My donut is gone already. Of course it is. Okay. All right, y'all, we are home. I am greasy, because I was fighting for my life. And now I'm about to go outside and get this car seat installed. Yeah. Get this car seat installed, and... I love that for me. My car is so messy from these damn kids. It's embarrassing. <gasps> is that milk? Oh, that's fucking disgusting. A damn chicken nugget? Really? All right, y'all. Got the car seats. Floors cleaned. Seats need to be detailed so bad, y'all. These are Xavi's milk stains. Like, this is so embarrassing. When he be just flinging his cup everywhere, and the milk goes everywhere, yeah, that's it. And then, Addy had some damn gum stuck to my rug right there. Are you kidding me? Anyways, looks so good. I always wanted two black car seats to match my car. <laughs> well, black, gray, whatever. So yeah, he is forward facing because he meets the safety regulations for the state and the weight and his height so we're good the car seats aren't going anywhere i still gotta do it in the trunk for the back part but yeah all right y'all guess what found my headband where was it i was sitting on it <sighs> love that for me so came inside because the car seats are finally in i was so hot changed into a t-shirt because Girl, I don't even know what I was thinking, but I got two packages. One I think is from Burst Skincare. They literally just sent me some stuff, but decided to send me more stuff. So I am so thankful for that because I love skincare, and y'all know that. So first, oh, this is for the bathroom. But I got a lot of things from Shein, like home decor that I saw that was like cute. So I got this nice, cute like black and gold like soap pump because I'm I told y'all I'm changing everything to like black I got this toothbrush holder and the toothpaste dispenser <gasps> that's gonna be so cute oh my gosh I forgot I got this <laughs> and I got a new bath mat because the one in the bathroom right now looks terrible this one is so cute it's got like brown and now I'm mad because I got brown because it was supposed to match my shower curtain and now I don't have the shower curtain no more because I didn't like how it looked eh. oh my god two it came with two hmm. maybe that was it I feel like I'm thinking about the shower curtain and because I returned the shower curtain I feel like okay so I got my shower curtain no I didn't get my shower curtain well I got the shower curtain I returned it I have my, I could have sworn I order one more thing, 
but I think they're gonna give me a credit back for the shower curtain. So I might just end up ordering something else because I'm like, what else I'm gonna use this credit for? But I didn't know I had got two of these. That's what I'm trying to look and see, but it's real weird on this app. All right, so that's everything for the bathroom stuff. And then I got some skincare from Burst. So basically, my whole little skincare routine is going to be Burst. Because I got so much stuff from them. Literally last week. No, last month. Why did I say last week? And then they sent me more stuff. I'm so excited. The Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. The Smoothing Eye Cream, which I'm really excited to try because I needed a new eye cream bad. I got more of their Instant Resurfacing Mask because I think the one that I got is either expired or about to be. So I'm like, let me just get another one. I got the Retinol Serum and then I got the Clarifying Serum. So I'm super excited to try those tonight. And that is it. So, I'm about to quickly make me something to eat, y'all. Then I'm about to make me some more coffee because I gotta fuel up for the day. Because we won't be getting back from dance until maybe 6 something and it's 3.41. So, I'm about to make me some coffee, make me something to eat, and then we gonna head to dance. And then, that's it for the day, y'all. Hey, y'all. This is the end of the vlog. And look, I made a bracelet. Oh, it's upside down. It's focusing, focusing. See? And, you just, and I just clip this one, and I clip this on Maybe here. in the background, doing Lord knows what. <laughs> okay, get from back there, baby. And then you just put on your wrist, and like this, y'all. And I was going to make my mommy one. She's up here, up here. Trying to braid Addie's hair for the night. Yes. We had a long day of dance. Got guy from a magic place. Yes. Y'all look how long this girl hair is. It's not that long. Girl is long. Look, look at it, Her look, hair is long. Look. Literally, and I cut off just maybe like a half inch. You can probably tell, but. It looks so much healthier on the ends now, but her hair was actually down and flat ironed and curled for the first time because she had a dance photo shoot this weekend. So now it's still flat, but not flat, but like not her natural curl. It's still like it's been braided and stuff, so it's like nice and detangled and easy to get through. And I really love it this way. Cool, very good. And I like it, and I like to wear how like when I walk in the cafeteria. You like walking in the cafeteria? Yeah, like well, not like nobody shows me the way to the cafeteria. I Are they cafe supposed to? No, mm -hmm. I already know it because I already know the way to. Love that. But that baby, get but, down, baby. But you, but if you forgot where the cafeteria was, somebody will help you. Okay. Let's tell them how school been going. Has school. it been hard or easy? Easy, kind of hard. What's the hard part? So the hard part is homework. Homework. We just finished some like a couple hours ago. She's also been doing really good in dance. I can do my speech. Dance life and school life. Bracelet, I got another bracelet. All right, braid is done. Yeah. Look at this crazy boy. Does the most. Ever since we got this long ass couch, that's all he do is run back and forth. You ready to go night night? Are you ready to go night night? Yeah, you're gonna fall off the couch because you're doing too much. But Jordan just texted me and said he's running late. He's finishing a deal, so we won't yeah. see him. Well, the kids won't see him. About to put Addie down, then put Zavi down, and then get in the shower. Y'all, is my pajamas cute? Girl, you wanna show them your uh, leg hold? Okay. <laughs> Girl, show them the leg when you put it up to the side. When you go down and up and hold it. Ooh, what else? Okay. 
Ooh, nice, nice. What else? Okay. Show y'all how that stuff. Ooh, girl. Oh, there goes Davy. What tricks you wanna show us, Davy? Ooh. <laughs> Good, no, look, 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 he's doing the most. Yeah. Whoa. Lift your leg up. <laughs> <laughs> I got go, it. baby, go. Yes, lift your leg up. Ooh. <laughs> but I can do it higher, y'all, look. Ooh. Flexible Lana. Okay, everybody say good night. Zavi say good night. Good night. Oh. <laughs>